Nigerian High Commission to the Republic of India, senior government officials, Tony Elumelu, Chief Emekauf, Ajiabala Shagaya, Chief Dele Oye, my friend Dai Rubanga, Itenders, President Association of Nigerian Chambers of Commerce, Akim Shagaya, and many of you, private sector leaders who are here to support Nigeria and the country. I say thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you all. Of you. Appreciating the fact that we are starting late, let me first of all apologize. It was a night of great expectations yesterday. And I did want to both learn and equally waiting anxiously to see if my job is one way secured or not. <laughs> so from that, Out of the excitement of the victory, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> uh, when I look at the time, and the time difference between, yeah, is another problem. <laughs> then the telephone won't stop ringing until I switch off very late. Uh, I mean, late afternoon. So it's been a very challenging day after. That is the hangover that you, <laughs> you will enjoy and, and for time in memory to come, we all appreciate why we are starting late. Please forgive us. We are here not to talk politics. We are here to present a future to you. A future of a country that is so rich, endowed, and highly populated, very dynamic, unique in its culture, unique in our tradition, unique in our ethnicity, a country we really determine that we make our prosperity possible if only we use that God-given opportunity of diversity for prosperity of Nigerians. We are sure to do that. That is where I'm standing here to assure you. <laughs> we are in doubt. We can do it. And you heard the names of uh, people that I mentioned. Many of them are here in their own private jets. We are not poor in knowledge. 
We are not poor in human resources. We are not poor in corporate resources. We are only poor in management and leadership. And that is why I ran for president to help all of us mold the soul of our country in the right direction. Don't care where you come from. It's the only country that you and I have. Whatever you experience here, yeah, I've gone through it. You are not new. I've been a guard man. I've been a tutor. And I was a brilliant student, I know that. No, no semester that I miss the dean's list. I joined Deloitte, one of the biggest accounting firms trained me. And my first question is, do you have branches in Nigeria? And they said, we have a lot of clients that will take you if you want to go home. And I started winding my way back until I got to ExxonMobil. With ExxonMobil, I was a very successful accountant, auditor general, treasurer, and then venture into politics with a can-do attitude. <laughs> you can do it. Don't be despondent in any form, any way. What we need? A change of mindset. mindset that honest work for honest day, honest hours work will pay off eventually. Be determined, be strong. Nigeria is ready to accommodate many. We partner with in India, we partner with Canada, we partner with Germany. What is lacking is that we are eating some of our dinners early. We are not producing enough. to even export. Because it's a matter of good thinking and good planning. These people that I mentioned would not have been successful as they are if they didn't think, question, do it right. If they prefer to cut corners, they won't be as successful to even own a private jet that brought them here. I salute all of you. <laughs> right now, we are not producing, we are not manufacturing enough What is the shame? 
we have a lot of animals and cows. We are not tendering and giving vet opportunity to do ranching and invest in ordinary dairy to give food to our children. That is not a out of plan. We are going to change that in this government. <laughs> we are going to be net exporters of food, dairy, and others. We should be. We have the resources. We have still deposit and the grant. 